Hi, I'm Ben Bell. I'm the executive producer of The Sims 3, and we're here in the heart of The Sims Development Studio to give you a rare behind-the-scenes look at The Sims 3. The truth is that a video game is made by every single person on the team. Everybody on the game team makes a significant contribution to the final product. In The Sims 3, you'll discover an open living neighborhood full of endless possibilities. The Sims 3 sort of takes a lot of the best things we've loved about previous Sims games, but puts them in an entirely new situation. You have the open world where you can walk around this neighborhood and for the first time ever visit your neighbor and say, hey, what's up? You can look at the town from far away and then you can zoom in on any location in the town to see what's going on, to see what the Sims are doing. I can explore the neighborhood, I can walk around the streets, I can even go to the center of town. It's about being able to go out in the world, spy on other people, watch what they're doing, and change it. I think one of the coolest things about The Sims 3 is the fact that my story is part of a bigger story. The neighborhood is growing and changing around me and my characters, and the story that I'm telling is affected by that, and their stories are affected by me. This is uh, gonna be Speak Madness. He is going to be the madman. The animators have had a lot of fun bringing our character traits to life over here. So one of the tools that we use to create animation for the game is video reference. Action. We work with designers, we work with each other, bounce ideas off each other, brainstorm. We act silly, you know, until something comes out. And then we videotape it, do it a couple of times, a couple different ways, take that back to the computer. <laughs> That's awesome and the animator tells me, you know, I want to do it this way, and I say, I'd like it if you did it that way, and we come to some middle ground, and then the animator's off and making something really cool. The Sims 3 offers a lot of new opportunities to make super unique characters and super unique places for them to go and things to do. You'll be able to use Create a Sim to make people that you actually know. Choose fat, thin, and fit bodies, male or female. Give your character a name, a little bit bigger head, customize your eyebrows, eye socket depth, size of your nose, definition of your nose, cheekbones, how big their chin is, how square their chin is. Choose all the different hair colors, hairstyles, all the different kinds of hats that we have. You can design your own Sim's physical appearance, outfit, and personality. So the personality simulator is this huge feature where we have tons of traits that you can pick from and you can assign whichever one you want onto your character so they could be great cook, good sense of humor, a little neurotic, a bit of a slob. Paranoid sim, all of a sudden they'll be like looking around and an excitable one might be and all sorts of excited and clap and you're like, oh, my sim's excitable, they get really interested in things they're doing. Stupid looked kind of like this, Pain looked like this. Hot-headed sims are just always angry. They're just like, Aah! And every sim can have up to five traits assigned to them, which is really exciting and allows you to create such a huge, wide variety of unique sims. Neurotic sims just can't cope. They'll be like, no, I can't do it. Or a great cook may have that little touch that when they finish off a dish, they're, ah, oh, that's just delicious. Over emotional sims, they're always crying, they're always upset. All these little things that really define someone and makes them special, and ultimately this affects your game in so many different ways throughout. Oh yeah. Go, 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 go. We're having the best time on this team. Oh, yeah, Dave's lamp again. We've got the best people to work with. <laughs> we create this incredible world that has so much rich detail. And then we have the added challenge of building it in a system that every player can change and modify. Some players want to just make characters. Some players just want to build houses. Some players don't want to do either. They just want to play the game. We try to offer them some characters. If you just want to pick one, here's some houses. If you just want to pick one. But if you want to go deep, you can go very, very deep. So you'll see a lot of fans sort of take the game out of the suburbs into their imagination. They will build out the sets to their favorite movies, their favorite TV shows. The game will also offer you the chance to do this really quick and rewarding short-term gameplay so you can accomplish something and then kind of move on and do something different. Let's say that your sim really wants to meet this girl down the street and he's dreamt of this perfect job. It's up to you to decide if you want to help him do that by promising to get that job for him or promising to meet that girl down the street. You'll be able to guide your story and achieve these little bits of, you know, success as you go along. We have hardcore gamers that play, we have, you know, casual players, and then we have people that have really never played a video game before. We want to make sure that it has features that are catered to each individual and that they can get into it and have fun however they play. It's silly, it's hilarious, it's this great comedy. There's so much detail, there's so much humanity in these sims now. It's actually kind of like real life when you meet somebody and when you interact with somebody on a day-to-day -day basis. We try to take the best parts of life and cram them into one game. 